Why did Dr. Wily believe practicing origami would help him defeat Mega Man? Apparently, someone told him that paper always beats rock. Welcome to the stream. Tonight, tonight we have Star Fox and uh, Mega Man 4, provided that both cartridges behave and work properly. That's what's on the table for tonight, a double feature of uh, science fiction games. Um, it's been a, been a long time since I've played Star Fox, but I ha do believe that I have uh, played through, I think there are three paths, and I believe I've played through and beaten each of them um, at least once. My thought was that we would go through one of the paths tonight, and uh, maybe I would... Uh, Maybe I would do this for the next couple nights and do a, do a different path every night so we can see all the levels. Um, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure that I, can, uh, that I can still beat all three of the paths, so we might get to try them more than once, but we'll see how it goes. When we get to Mega Man uh, 4, that's a game that I have uh, never beaten. I've never played all the way through. I've played a little bit of it, but not a significant amount, so that's going to be a... That's going to be a going in blind, trying something new, and uh, and seeing how we do experience. <laughs> you can do anything. <laughs> Hello, Jelly. Good to see you again. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the encouragement and the positive vibes. Um. So so I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you'll give me moral support. I appreciate it. Thank you. So I I don't know how how I'm going to perform tonight when it comes to beating this game. So I give it my best shot, and we're gonna have fun either way. So we're gonna hop into Star Fox, and um, I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure how long um, the game's gonna take. I'm not sure how good I'm gonna be at it, <laughs> or how things are gonna go. Um, but we'll just kind of wing it. We'll play it by ear. I'll play this until we either. Uh, get to a satisfying satisfactory stopping point or I burn out whichever one <laughs> whichever one occurs and then we'll switch over to Mega Man and we'll just try and have a good time hello cows great to see you again yeah we're gonna do Star Fox tonight we're gonna do a little bit of it and then we're gonna try some Mega Man Okay, so boost, bomb, break, blaster. I didn't even remember that this game had a boost and a break. I thought those were new features in Star Fox 64, but it appears it appears they were here all along. Um, do I like this configuration? You know what? I think I do. Okay, we can we can do a barrel roll, as the meme says. Nice. You know what? It's really cool that the game lets you um at the very start takes you to this control screen and lets you test out the controls before it ever starts. More games should have done something like this. This is a really good idea. Mega Man's what you really want to see. May have to catch it, catch the bottom of that one though. I do, uh, I do stream late, unfortunately. So I understand if you can't stick around the whole time, but I hope you do catch it. Okay, I think I'm gonna skip the training and just go right into the game. Yeah, so this is why I'm talking. What I was talking about. We've got three paths here. I know the bottom path. Or I believe the bottom path is supposed to be the hard path. And then one of these other two, one should be normal and one should be easy, I think. I would guess that the top path is easy and the middle path is normal. Right? Oh, no, no. Look, it says right there. Level 1, level 2, level 3. Alright, so the easy path is the middle path. Alright. Well, we're going to start with the easiest one. We're going to work our way We're gonna work our way up in difficulty as we... Uh, as we either loop around or as we revisit the game. Uh, 
You agree. It is cool that it lets us that it lets us figure out how to drive before throwing us into the game. Yeah, it's a really cool feature. I, I can't believe I can't believe more games don't do something like that. It's just a really genius idea. Okay, Corneria, the base. Star Fox team, our last resort is to counterattack Venom. Good luck. This is a game, um, I never had this game as a kid, but my cousin had it. I would borrow it from him sometimes, so I played it a lot. I don't think I ever beat it myself until uh, several years ago when I finally bought my own copy of it. Right, we got the double blasters. I don't know if I've ever completed all three of the um, all three of the uh, courses either. It feels like I play I've played it enough that I must have, but just can't say for sure. Oh, oh, okay. No. I read that. I read his message wrong. He said, "Hey, he was mine." I thought he said, "Hey, that was me." I thought I was shooting at one of my teammates. Um, is there anything down there? No. Whoa. Grab a ring. And here, I think maybe I'm supposed to boost toward the end here. Hey, we got a big guy here. Is this like a mini boss? Uh, maybe not. I thought he was going to take a lot more hits than that. Is friendly fire a thing that can happen in this game? I think it can. I'm more sure that it's a thing in Star Fox 64, but I think it's in this game too. Because it does have little, um, it has little set pieces where you have to help your, uh, help your buddies out. They'll fly, uh, they'll fly in front of you with a, with a guy chasing after them that you have to take out to help them. And I think that, I think when that happens that you're able to, uh, accidentally shoot your buddy instead of the guy chasing him. All right. First boss has come and gone. Easy, yeah.
hopefully we do do well and just make it look easy the whole way through. All right, we're on to the second second stage, the asteroid field, asteroid belt. Andros's forces intend to build a base in this area, destroy their rock crusher. Okay, the game, uh, the game insisted that I play in first-person mode, but I think I'm going to avoid doing that. Okay, the gray asteroids are invincible. The copper asteroids. There's uh, one of our buddies flying by again. So, if we shoot at our, uh, if we shoot at one of our buddies, I just shot at Slippy a lot on purpose. Um, I was trying to see if I could hit him, and I still don't know. He complained about me shooting at him, but I don't know if the, if he actually felt the effects of friendly fire. It might be... It might also be that, um... Sorry, <laughs> it's easy for me to get distracted and lose my train of thought here. It might also be that friendly fire occurs on some of the paths, and not the uh, not the other ones. And maybe on level three, you can hurt your buddies, but on the on the first and maybe second level, you can't, since they're supposed to be easy mode. Slippy's in front of me again. Yeah, I don't know if I can actually hit him. <laughs> Results are inconclusive. I'm not really sure what the different types of rings do, uh, either. Removing friendly fire would be a good way to make the easy path easier. Yeah, that's. I think that would be a nice, uh, a nice touch. Okay, that was weird. That triangle enemy, <laughs> especially right before the boss here. Oh, I think he got me a couple times there. Whoa! Oh no, that hit me. I guess I should have. I guess I should have turned to the side. Okay, okay. He he had me on the ropes there a little bit. But we pulled through again. And we still got our whole team. All right, we got an extra life, too. Did we? Thought it said bonus credit, but then 
I don't think the number in the upper left corner changed, did it? So we move on. Space Armada. Wow, what is that? There's like a shooting star or something just went by the screen. I don't know what that means. I don't know if there's going to be another one. The Andros Space Armada. The Space Armada consists of powerful battleships. Destroy their energy cores. Starting off by taking a hit. Oh, nice. Look at this. We got another uh, weapon upgrade. All right. Now that was an extra. That was an extra life for sure. That's the kind of thing we want to see. Because I think these levels get, even on the easy path, I think they get a little difficult as we move along. I had Star Fox uh, 64 when I was a kid. Even though I'd only ever borrowed this game to play it, I own Star Fox 64, and I was really into that game. I'll probably play it on stream, too, before too long. Alright, a shield. Nice. I'm a little indecisive about how soon I want to play... Is that the energy core? Yeah. Yeah about how soon I want to play Star Fox 64, because I kind of want to play it real close to this game, because they're very similar, and I think it would be interesting to compare them. But on the other side, on the other hand, they're real similar, and I, I don't really know that I want to play that much of the same thing all, all, in, all in a row, so... I'll have to make up my mind about that, I guess. But I put tons and tons of hours into Star Fox 64. I don't know that I ever got especially good at it, though. I mean, I could I could beat it and everything. I could clear all the levels and, and complete all of the uh, objectives. But um, I remember having the game for, I think, years before I even know, knew that medals were a thing you could earn in the game. <laughs> and I, I definitely didn't get all the medals on all the planets. Alright, we got another energy core. I would guess that there's probably only one more uh, section like that, so we're probably about two-thirds of the way through this level. Okay, let's try and get this ring. There we go, and then we'll try not to run into that big guy. Okay, I think we're coming up on another boss. I think we go inside this one.
Oh no. Oh no, I ran right into it. Okay, this part is free. This is kind of weird the way the uh, the way the geometry moves around here. There's a lot of places in this game where the geometry is just very very strange looking. Maybe it's a good time for a bomb. Um. I don't know. I can't tell if that did anything. Now we're going backward. Okay. There we go. I'm having a really I'm having a really hard time aiming for whatever reason. I'm at such a bizarre angle, I feel like. What is going on? I don't want to run into this uh, laser here. There we go. That's what we want to do. Oh my goodness. Hey, did we get him? I think we did. All right. Big Star Wars vibes, yeah. Yeah, it feels a lot like, um... Um, what is it? Uh, Rogue Squadron. On the GameCube. The the uh, first level where they, they recreate the trench run from the first movie. A meteor. We're two levels away. The battle base meteor. Be sure to use your retros. If you're going too fast, be careful with my R wings. Good luck. That's interesting. So I know that in um, Star Fox 64, the Star Fox team are like mercenaries. But here they don't seem to own their own equipment. So I don't I don't know if there's something I'm misunderstanding here or if they changed the lore. <laughs> or both. Whoa, I really am going too fast. Oh no, I'm taking a lot of hits. Oh no, I'm taking more hits. Okay, I need to find some health. That's great. That's just what I needed. 
So the blue ring gives me a lot of health. I think the yellow ring gives me a little health. I think they're both health rings. Oh no, I couldn't get that planet looking thing. Oh, look, it's like a giant spider. I don't think the bombs, I don't think the bombs work on the bosses. If they do, I, I don't think I've had any luck with it. Oh, no. That wasn't good. Where, where is it vulnerable? What am I supposed to be aiming at? Do I go high or low? What do I do? <laughs> I'm so confused. Whoa. Oh, no, it got me. Stay on target. Stay on target. Okay, I'm not sure how far back it puts us. I don't think we're all the way back, but... Oh, that was... What? Why was, the, why was the door opening and closing? I don't know what I did wrong. Yeah, I think I was blowing up its legs last time. So I'm wondering if maybe it isn't really vulnerable until I take away at least some of its legs. Well, when it's spinning like this, it doesn't look like it's vulnerable at all. It looks like my lasers are bouncing off of it. I'm going to try another bomb again anyway, even though I don't have much faith in them. Do I go low? That seemed to work. Oh, yuck. Oh, no. Oh, it got me again. Okay, I know I need to be more ev more evasive. Oh, things were going so well. Now our fortunes have reversed. There we go. What is that? That's an extra bomb. Okay. You know, instead of an extra bomb, I'd really like a uh, a laser upgrade. <laughs> I mean, especially when I'm going right up against the boss. I have to. I got to figure out how to fight him with this wimpy laser.
Okay, we're gonna gonna try to evade. I think I just I think I just slammed myself into the ground. Okay, watch out for the watch out for the energy balls. Oh no, go high. Oh, he's going to shoot his lava beam. There we go. All right. If I can keep that up, maybe we won't get hit too much. Okay, all of his legs are gone. It looks like he's more vulnerable now. But he's definitely not helpless. <laughs> all right, woo! We got him. He was pretty tough, but we finally got him. Right, and we're here, we're at Venom. So I wonder... Oh, there goes that shooting star again. So I wonder, like I can see on uh, the level 1 path and the level 3 path down there, there's the, the asteroid belt is on both paths, but I assume that the level is different. Um, so I know that Corneria is different when you start out on the different levels, um, at least aesthetically, um, and I would assume difficulty-wise, because I on the uh, on the level three path, I remember it being red, but uh, I do wonder if Venom is very different depending on which path you approach it from, because I know there's two different versions of it in Star Fox sixty four. Venom, the final goal. Andros is hiding on Venom. Fox, he must find his core brain and destroy it. Okay, let's get this ring. Well, I, I tried to get the rings. I saw, uh, saw uh, an enemy. I didn't know it was an enemy. It, it was uh, shaped like an outline. I thought it was a power-up. But this, like right here, but it's a, I think it's an enemy. It's in an, uh, it's in invincible mode. <gasps> oh no, I wanted that. Oh, 
Oh no, I want that too, and I missed it. I'm, I'm missing all the power-ups. Oh, it got me. Those guys, wow, they just come right for you. <laughs> Evil squiggles. You see, the trouble is, the trouble is, I have difficulty telling which triangles are the good triangles and which triangles are the bad triangles. Oh my. No, I thought the yellow rings were health, but if they are, there's it's such a minute amount, it doesn't even look like my shield increased at all. Okay, come on, get the laser. I got it, but I got hit for doing it. Oh, I got hit a bunch. Oh, no. Oh, no, I think I'm going to game over. I did. Do we have continues? We do. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so I've got a little bit of clearance to, to mess this up a couple more times, but not very much. I love that Star Fox gives us the th a thumbs up and a wink. He's just letting us know that he believes in us. These one type of enemy, these uh, these guys that come up from the come up from the planet and try to fly directly into me, they are really, really difficult to deal with. Okay, can I get this bomb? Ooh, there's another one. There we go. And I know there's going to be a laser upgrade over here on the left sometime. And I want to get that too. But last time it cost me so dearly. Here it comes. Oh, they're flying into me. I can't take it. Through the ring. All right. We got a lot of health back. Ah. Uh. 
I can't I can't afford to watch my aim right now. If you're worried about where I'm aiming, maybe you should fly behind me, buddy. Okay, here we go. Now this is a mini boss. He's even got a tinier health bar. Oh, but he's throwing a lot of missiles at me. Oh, what do I do about this? Do I aim for the middle of him? What? Now there's two of him. Now there's three of him. I wonder if it's a only one is real type situation. That's what it looks like. Alright, hey, I think we got him. Okay. I mean, it says stage 5 clear, but I think we're going to go down to the surface for, the, for a final boss fight, right? Just a moment. As I was as I was banning one scam ad bot, another chatted at me. <laughs> oh my. Oh, this place is a mess. Oh, Peppy's health bar looks kind of destroyed. I wonder if that was my doing. Oh my. These pillars are, are they're jumping pillars. Oh, can I get through the ring? Nice. Okay. Oh, look at this. We got the good lasers now. 
Oh, I hope I can not die and keep them. It's this guy again. <laughs> Was that it? Was that all he had? Oh no, he's still got a little bit of health. There we go. I still don't think that this is going to be its final form. That health bar doesn't look... That health bar doesn't look the right size. Whoa, I need to be I need to be careful. Hey, you can do the multi the multiplying trick too. Throw those at me anymore, please. Oh no. Oh no, we've lost a wing. That means we lost our good lasers. Alright, I think we got this guy. Oh, I'm so glad that didn't that didn't kill us. What is this? Oh, here we go. I expect this is the final battle. I hope if we die here that we uh, get to restart here and not before that boss. I don't really want to fight him again. Whoa. No, he's pulling me in. Oh, now he's spitting a bunch of garbage at me. He's doing it again. No. Oh, I think I took out one of his eyes. Don't pull me in. Don't pull me in. There's so much debris flying around. I don't know where to go. He's become a cube. Oh no, now I have to take out his eyes again before I get another chance at the cube, I think. This is horrible. Oh! -ho -ho. <laughs> the 
Sorry, I'm so delayed in seeing the chat. It's it's kind of hard to take my eyes away from the screen. But that was that was a good one, Jelly. I'm sorry about the bots. I bet Doctor Wiley's behind it. And no, those jumping pillars were quite the surprise. Alright, we got a little bit more firepower than we did last time. Unless I lose a wing. Which could happen. It could happen right now. I think if he succeeds in pulling me into his mouth, he's going to chew me up and spit me out, and I will bet I will lose at least one of my wings, if not both, if that happens. Come on, get the other eye, get the other eye. All right, he's gonna become a cube. I don't know if we can get him in one cycle on the cube, but it would be nice. Hey, did we? All right. Um. I don't know if I need to control this or if it's free. All right, it's free. All right, it looks like we did it. I'm not sure what these percentages mean. Is that the percentage of enemies we killed or the percentage of items we collected? It could be could be a percent of anything. Yeah, enemies destroyed was was sort of my go-to guess, but I mean it was at a hundred percent on a couple levels, and I, I can't imagine I got. I didn't know there was going to be dialogue there. Um, I can't expect. I I don't expect I would have gotten one hundred percent of the enemies on any level. Okay, we got a, looks like a credit roll for the bosses. One thing I am curious to see is on the other paths, do the levels have different bosses or do they all use the same bosses, I wonder?
Because the more I think about it, I don't know how familiar I am with the other paths because I don't, I don't remember any bosses other than the ones we've seen. But then again, if you had asked me an hour ago to describe any of the bosses from Star Fox, I could have told you the first two. And everything after that was a surprise to me. I didn't remember this jumping guy or the or this giant spider or any of those. Oh no, that's not true. Uh, the one with the uh, where you fly around it in a circle with the lasers coming in from the wall. I remembered that one too. And I remembered uh, Andros's face. I didn't remember the cube, but I remembered his face. You know, I was thinking that too, uh, cows. I, I love how the size doesn't specify a unit. I would have to I would have to guess it's probably in meters but who knows could be any could be anything you're right shape designer With, the, with these graphics, shape designer is a very important role. <laughs> it's just it's just surprising to me that it's so that it's so blunt. Like it's not it's not even like model designer or character designer or ship design. It's just shape designer. It's just to be so blunt with the, with the idea that that yeah yeah it's really it's all just shapes. <laughs> We did, Jelly. We beat it. It all it all happened very rather, rather quickly. Thank you. I thought I thought it was a pretty short game. I thought it would take about an hour and a half to get through each uh, each track, but they're they're shorter even than I thought they were. So that was pretty good. I had a good time with that. It was a it got a little, a little hairy there for for a while on some of the stages, but not too bad. Not a, not a, not a soul, de uh, soul destroying challenge by any means. Um, but that was only um that was only one third of the game too. There, are, there are three separate tracks that all have I believe that all have unique levels. Um. So we've still got sixty percent of the game left. Um in a way but i think that was enough of it for for tonight uh, my idea was uh because it'd be, i feel like it would be just too repetitive to play it all back to back uh back to back in the same night my idea was that i would pick it up uh each night for a little while and to try to do each of the three tracks so we'll revisit Star Fox again tomorrow night and try level two and uh we'll, we'll see if we can make it through level two as well um because i don't know i had to use it i had to use a continue tonight on level one so there's a there's a distinct possibility that as we cre increase the difficulty I may may end up game overing a time or two but that's all right if that happens if we'll just attack it again and so that's gonna wrap up the star fox portion of our stream if you want to hang around uh, for just a moment i'm going to throw up the brb screen and get switched over we're going to try out mega man 4 
Uh, that'll be coming up in just a couple minutes. So I hope you'll stick around, and if you do, I'll see you again very shortly, my friends.